prior to my injuries, I I competed in full contact kickboxing, Muay Thai, and I boxed for the Marines. And then when I got injured, I had a couple of people from different disciplines um, approach me and say, oh, you know, we can get you to a black belt standard no matter what your injuries. And, and I just knew it was bullshit. As much as I wanted martial arts back in my life, I didn't want to do it on sympathy. I wanted to do it on hard work and, and effort. A man called Sam Sheriff, color sergeant Sam Sheriff approached me. He's a physical training instructor in the Marines. And he asked me if I wanted to try jujitsu. It's about grappling and ground fighting. And I was like, well, I can do this because I'm sat down with no legs on. I'm on the ground anyway. The stuff you learn on the mat translates into your life off the mat. Someone who's never been in the military, who's never trained martial arts, and they go to their first class and they feel the way everyone feels, but they pursue it and they keep going and they keep going and they're building resilience and strength and all that stuff that they've never really been in a situation to have to do before. One time I was in Morrison's and I could hear these kids behind me really playing up, right? So I turned around and looked and there's like three kids and you could see the mum was like at her wit's end. And so I carried on and I, I know what's going to happen. And everything went silent, right? And I was like, they've seen me now. And uh, I hear one of them go, mummy, mummy, look at that man's legs. What happened to him, mummy? And so I looked at these three kids and I went, when I was younger, in fact, how old are you? He's like, eight. I'm like, I was eight. I was exactly the same age as you. And I was in a supermarket with my mum. And I was being really naughty. And I didn't do anything she told me. And then I had an accident. And then this is what happened to me. And all these three kids are like, you know, my whole look on it is, if I cared what people thought, or if I wasn't willing to talk about it, why am I walking around in shorts and t-shirt? with these prosthetics on show. I can't expect people not to look, to ask questions, to point, especially children.